Hello, I'm Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, and uh, welcome to Dragon Age Origins. This is one of my favorite games, and I just wanted to bring this to my channel because I felt like I wanted to do a playthrough of the entire series. Um, I haven't done this in a while. Um, yeah, it's been uh, probably a year or a couple of years since I've actually done a full, well, probably longer than that, um, since I've done a full playthrough. And I felt like Dragon Age um, was appropriate because my current Let's Play with The Sims is about redemption and Dragon Age Origins has the same theme. It's a story about loss, great loss, a story about um, good against evil and redemption. So I thought this was a great way to um, introduce this series along with Journey to Redemption um, with The Sims. Now, for those of you who have come to my channel to watch my Let's Plays for The Sims, don't worry, I will still continue to play The Sims. Um, but I also do like to play other games. I love RPGs um, and all that it entails. I also play a lot of MMOs. Um, so you probably won't see the MMO part, but you'll definitely see other RPGs on my channel. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the game. I will let you know I will do a thorough playthrough first yes i will do a thorough playthrough of the game um as well as awakening awakenings um and followed up by dragon age 2 and dragon age inquisition and hopefully hopefully this will lead into the next dragon age series um uh, game i'm hoping dragon age 4 will be announced or something um crossing our fingers for that guys because uh well Anthem is a sore um, subject for me because I really wanted to enjoy that game and it just, I just wasn't. But that's neither here nor there. Um, you guys didn't come here for that. Let's get into the game. Let's get into the creation screen. I do have a, um, a resume there because I had started the game earlier uh, or yesterday, which would have been... A Wednesday for me today is Thursday when I'm recording this and um, I guess you could call it a test I was recording with the intention of uploading that video but um, some I didn't end it well so we're starting over with a new game so let's do that let's get into Dragon Age Origins I do have some mods um, not very many but you'll see all right and so is the golden city blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Canticle of Threnodies 813. And I'll try to be quiet at the cutscenes. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. A 
until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. may even be too late, for I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. All right, uh, that was actually a good, I love that cutscene. Um, if you've never played Dragon Age, comment down below and let me know. Um, because if you haven't, I'd really, um, I'm excited to know that because it's not many people that I've come across that, you know, that are gamers that have never played Dragon Age. Um, because it's such a good story. Bioware at its finest. Um, of course, Mass Effect, let's just put it out there. Mass Effect is amazing. The, the, the first trilogy, uh, some of us are too happy with Andromeda. Um, unpopular opinion, I actually kind of liked Andromeda. It wasn't anywhere as good as the originals. And I'm going into a tangent again. Anyways, let's get into the uh, customer. I keep saying that. <laughs> I said that in the other video custom creation um all right now as far as i'm gonna uh who i'm going to play as i'm going to be a female uh first and foremost because i am a female um and i do, i'd like to play as um someone as close to me as i possibly can uh when that option is available so i will play as a human um now as far as like what class i'm gonna play I'll be honest, the combat in Dragon Age Origins is extremely slow um, and clunky. Obviously, this is a very old game. Um, so I tend to base what I play in this game by the how the combat feels. Um, so I am going to play as a rogue. Um, and yeah, so she is a human noble. And all right, so greetings. Let me know if the music is too loud. I did do a run through, like I said earlier, and it the music seemed to be okay. I don't know how the voice is gonna be. It might be a little loud, but let me know. Anyway, so let's go through some presets. Um, I actually like her face, but we'll. Uh, I've got some mods you can see, um, eye mods, and there's some hairs I did download. Um, I also downloaded some, um, oh, that's creepy. Um, she looks like a Khajiit. All right, um, that, no, absolutely not. Mm, she looks okay, but let me see what else we have. She looks like Liliana. She might not be too bad. Um, let's just see what else we have. I cut the, the creation screen isn't that great. Like the customization in this game 
Isn't that great? I mean, it's an older game, so that's my excuse. We're going to go with, I think we're going to go with this base. No, maybe we'll go with, uh, maybe we'll go with this base. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go with her. We're going to start off with skin, skin complexion. Uh, oh, that's makeup. No. Absolutely not. Okay, she looks like Avatar. Okay. I'm old, but I'm not that old. Okay. Um, that's really basic. I don't want her to be, like, wrinkled. She's young. She's supposed to be young. Um, but I don't want the makeup. So, um... Maybe we'll just start here. Might as well go with a a clear base, right? And the skin tone. Um, one thing I will say about this game, the darker skin tones tend to be really blotchy. So I, I tend to stay away from them just for that very reason. Um, and even with all the extra skin tones that I downloaded, they, they still look uh, kind of blotchy. I mean, this one isn't too bad. I mean, that's kind of close to my own skin complexion. Um, I'm not going to play as me, but I'm going to, I guess, try to recreate myself in the game. It's not going to be, obviously, a spitting image, but we'll go with it. Um, let's see, blush. I'm going to bring that down. I guess I really should be focused on blush until I get her face where I want it to be. Um, I kind of want to make it look like she's got some, some contour. Um, I guess that would probably be something like that, but, okay. Um, whoops, let's go with, let's just go to the eyes and get the shape down. Um, no. It's not very many options, is it? I like those. Okay. Eye size. Do I, oh no. Do I want a big? I think big bright eyes. And then bring these in a little bit. And bring these down. I think they're a little too high. That's a little low. I mean, it still feels a little high. Maybe about there. All right, so I'm going to try not to be in this uh, screen too much because I can get ridiculous. Um, let's see, eye color. Maybe something that's different. That looks kind of creepy. Maybe I will go with that. I mean, that's... That'll work. It looks like she's staring through your soul, doesn't it? Okay, so let's bring those brows, the brow depth. Um, that's the forehead, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. And let's bring that down a bit. Yeah, all right. Okay, so let's go back. I mean, that's, well, let's work on our nose. I guess we can get our nose shape. That's too pointy. Oh, no, that's even pointier. That's fine. I don't want her to be, like, super gorgeous. Um, I mean, Noble's... She's not really royalty, is she? But um, I kind of want her to have some imperfection. I don't want her to be like crazy beautiful. Oh, well, her nose looks broken there. Um, no. Why does her nose look broken? What the? Is that the? Is that the bridge that's doing that? Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, I don't want that. Okay, so let's let's make her nose a little bit smaller. But I want let's go back here. No. Okay, let's do this. But I want her nose to be a little bigger. Yeah. And then I want her nostrils to be a little bigger. Okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. And then we got our bridge down. Okay. Now the width of our bridge, maybe a little bit wider. And what's the tip depth mean? Is that like how far the nose comes out? See how, oh no, we don't want it to. Okay. All right, so um, the mouth. Let's go with the chin first and the cheeks and stuff because that'll determine the mouth. Her chin looks a little pointy. Not feeling that. Let's make this a little bit wider. Um, is this like how... I mean, I guess I can't fix the pointiness of her chin. Uh, okay, so let's... Do I want high cheekbones or... Uh, all right, let's... I guess I kind of want her to have full cheeks. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's see, chin height. I don't know if I want our chin to be that long. Definitely not that long. <laughs> um, definitely not that long. All right. Um, okay. Uh, I don't know. She doesn't look any different than what I started out with. All right, let's see if we can fix her brows. Maybe if we work with that. Where was that? Eyebrows. Okay, so let's get in on the eyebrows and see if we can okay that's not what we want so we've got no eyebrows bushy eyebrows really thin um i mean let's go with the really thick eyebrows and we don't know what color hair we're gonna go with so let's just pick our hair so i have some mods um yeah these are anto and if you guys know who Anto is, he makes um, some hair. I actually kind of like that, but that might do too much clipping. Let's just pick a color first. Then we'll go with hairstyle. Kind of want her to be a redhead, but then Liliana's a redhead. I actually like the red. Maybe we'll go with white. Let's go with white. It is a fantasy, high fantasy game. So let's just go with white hair. I make fun of my boyfriend for making um, uh, characters with white hair. All right. No, no. Okay. No. That's not bad. Nah. I don't want it super long, but I don't want it super, whoa. No. It's actually kind of cute, but not in white. Um, again, I don't know. That might not be too bad, but then I don't like the color. Actually, I kind of like that, but I don't like the, how the white is faded. So let's see if we can get something a little brighter. The brown isn't bad. 
The red isn't as vibrant. I do like the vibrant red. Let's see if I can go back and... Okay, so it's going to be darker. Okay, let's just go back with the initial... Where is it at? We're going to go with red, and we're going to go with that. I'm going to... Um, eyebrow color is red. Make that. Or I could make it. Mm. So, where were we? We can make our eyebrow colors black. Let's do that. Uh, I think I want to make our skin a little bit darker. I don't want it. I'm going the wrong way. I mean, the problem with this game is it doesn't matter what your skin complexion is going to look like. Your parents are, their skin complexion doesn't change. So, um, we're just going to go with this. She just looks like, um, like my skin complexion. And let's, uh, work with the, the, uh, mouth, the lips. I like my lips to be full. Let's see how big they get. Oh, girl. I mean, that overbite though. That just looks weird. I mean, I do like her lips like this, though. That's not bad. Nice plump lips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Um, and makeup. So let's go with lip color. I am not one to wear a lot of lipstick. I prefer lip gloss. So if I do choose a color, it's going to be kind of neutral, and then I'm going to... Actually, red looks really good on her. Can I take the intensity down a little bit, though? But the red does look... I don't want it super red. But that actually looks kind of good on her. Maybe not. Okay, so let's bring the intensity down. A smidge. I like the brown. I wish I could pull her lips down. All right. Um... The corner of her mouth. I don't know. This isn't the Sims, so yeah. All right, so eyeshadow. That's probably going to be a no for me, but we're going to see how it go. Yeah, that's definitely going to be. I mean, maybe. If, yeah. Ugh. I love this game, guys, but. Actually, that's not terrible. If we go with something that's like a... I just feel like if you got eyeshadow on, you don't need lipstick. So let's bring the lip intensity down. Okay, that's not terrible. Okay, so do we want a tattoo? I'm looking at it like this. She's a noble. And, um, she, she's a noble and she's expected to act like a noble and look like a noble. Therefore, I think tattoos would be inappropriate for her. However, she is kind of a, I wouldn't call her a black sheep. Um, she's obedient to her parents, but I would say that she's not your typical, noble girl um she's a rogue so that should tell you something uh so she's a fighter and most i mean noble women aren't known to be fighters um so i would think that she might actually have a tattoo but not necessarily on her face um i wish that i could add a tattoo elsewhere so i let i may do one so let's just look um, let's bring the intensity down. I may not. I think I kind of want to keep her face. No. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep her face. Well, what? no. All right. We're going to remove the tattoo. Okay. Let's check out the voice. 
Well, let's work on our portrait. Let's see, she, I, I guess this one's kind of fine too. That'll work. Background, we'll make it green or something. Yeah. Um, no, absolutely not. Let's just keep it neutral. Okay, voice. Wise? No, it is gone! Greetings. Greetings. Mm. Charmed. Oh, there went the spell. Oh, bother. I need something new. That does make you sound sultry. That kind of sounds... I don't know. <laughs> Greetings. Ugh, my spell. This isn't working. Need something else. You're in my way. I like this one. All right. We're good. So let's go with the name. I'm going to name her... Um... Alaria, I think. Is it? Um... Alaria? Alaria. Alaria. I'm naming her after one of my favorite books. Um, favorite book series by Jim Butcher. Fairies of Calderon. Um, yeah. So she's going to be Alaria Kuslin. And so, all right. So she's a rogue. So I'm going to focus on dexterity, um, cunning. Uh, do I need constitution? I actually hire, um, I mean, I don't really need to focus on constitution right now. I want to focus on my dex and my cunning. All right. We'll worry about everything else later. All right. So why did I just snap my finger? Um, I want to have coercion because I, she's a rogue and I would think that she has great um, skills in um, intimidation and, well, I mean, that's rogue, but she's also, or that's rogue, that's warrior, but I think that would be perfect for a rogue. And I actually, um, poisons might be my next, no, because I already have poison. All right, so I'm going to go with combat train. Oh, can I? Oh, that's the only point I have. Yeah, I haven't played this game forever. Mm -mm. All right, so dirty fighting, that is one we're given already. Do I want to go with lock picking? Yes. Why? Because when I don't choose lock picking right away in the game, I always end up getting, um, coming across, um, treasure chests that I can't open, so... Um, no, what's, okay. So I'm going to be dual wielding. I'm really not going to focus on archery. I'm going to leave that to, um, other characters in my party. I'm going to go with dual weapon training. Do I want to go with dual weapon training? Oh, this, okay. Well, this is, do I this is a passive. I mean, let's just go ahead with that because, yeah. All right. So we're going to start off with normal difficulty. I will probably bump it up. Just saying. All right. Again, I will keep it quiet at cutscenes. Um, I'm ready. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't played this game in a while. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of High Ever, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Arlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. 
This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the South has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the King a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. Though we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my daughter? I see she's become a lovely young woman. Pleased to see you again, my Hello. dear. All right, so we got to figure out what kind of person she's going to be. Um, I would say that she's probably kind of snarky. Not snarky, but um, sarcastic. Maybe is that snarky? Would you call that snarky? I don't know. I'm a little sarcastic, so... Uh, um, all right, so what was the question? <laughs> he asked me what I was doing here. All right, so what do I want to say? Um... Pleased to meet you again, my dear. All right, so, and you too. Huh? I don't want to be rude. And you are all... My son Thomas asked after you. Perhaps I should bring him with me next time. Um... Let's see. Do I... I already know what this is about, but I'm not... I'm just going to... I like that. I'd like that. Good. My son saw you at a Denerim fair and has talked about you ever since. He'll be pleased you remember him. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. All right. Um, yeah. She's, I'm going to say um, she's definitely going to want to be in the fray with everyone else. She doesn't want to be left behind because she feels like she can fight just as well as her brother. Um, so my, my answer or my response to him would be three. What? Why can't I go with... Uh, what? How do I want to say that? What? Why can't I go into battle with you and Fergus? I'm certain you'd more than prove yourself, but I am not willing to deal with your mother if you join the war. She'd kill me if I let you go. She's already twisted into knots about Fergus and me going. Um, let me talk to her. I'll convince her. I think she would try to say that. I don't think she would whine about it. Um, or maybe she would just concede to the fact that she knows they won't let her fight. Um, she knows how to pick her battles, so I'll go with four. Very well. I'll do what you think is best. Now, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away, yes? There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan in. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. Um, they are Warden of Great Warriors. They defeated the Darkspawn long ago. He said they were a small order and no longer important. Is there a reason I should care? Um, I'm going to say she would know who they are, but not quite. So, um, she's heard the stories and she knows that they defeated the, the Darkspawn long ago. So we'll go with that. Not permanently, I fear. Without their warning of the Darkspawn rising now, half the nation could have been overrun before we'd had a chance to react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your daughter is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is my daughter we're talking about. Okay, um, I think I'd rather like that idea, Father. Is there a reason I should, shouldn't join them? I've no interest in becoming a Grey Warden. Perhaps that would get me into battle. Maybe. I think she might challenge that. Um, challenge her father in that regard, so yes. That discussion is closed. 
You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. I have not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Um, of course. In the meantime, find Fergus and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Um, where is Fergus? Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lass and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. All right, so we are in tactical view. This is a tutorial. The game can be played from a variety of tactical viewpoints. Use the mouse wheel to bring your camera down to exploration mode. Scroll forward. I don't use tactical camera very often, um, but uh, yes. Yeah. So we will press on. All right. Okay, so um, if I can remember correctly, tab, yeah, tab is uh, highlights the room or little areas of the room that can be explored or things can be picked up. Okay, so I'm gonna just go through this door here. I'm gonna be honest, I'm rusty as heck. I think this is a dead end down here. I don't think I can, I don't want to go up there quite yet. Okay, we can. Good evening, my lady. Let's see if I can get through this door. I'll get on it. Yep. Is there anything in here that I can? Yes. Um, pretty sure this, yeah. Okay, I'm taking all things. I am a loot fanatic. I am. I will loot all the things, so be prepared. Um, so, oof, okay. Evening, my lady. Evening, my lady. Maker, prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all. <clears throat> Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. Um, let's see. How is she going to react to this? Um, yeah. I would think that she is devout. Um, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would appreciate that, Mother um, Please, Mal. child. Call me Malol. Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. Make her forgive us all. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. <clears throat> You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. Um, thank you, Malal. Oh, well, you know what? Let, can I uh, ask a few questions? I cannot. Many await my attendance before they march into the unknown. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. Well, thank you very little. Okay, so there is some stuff over here. I'm not gonna Can read I get you everything. A so you can get off my back. Okay, so she is a little snarky. Okay, um, I'm not gonna read any codices. <laughs> um, yeah, I might. I may choose to do that later. Um, but yeah, no. 
Good evening, my lady. Uh huh. Let's come in here. Oh, this is the door we've already came through. I'll get on it. Uh huh. Some elf roots. Um. Oh yeah. I wonder if that is actually better than what I have. Let's check this out. All right. So this is a maze. It requires 12 strength. You know what? Now that I think about it, I'm going to have to focus on strength too. I forgot about that. Um, and let me just bring this out. My, my bar. So I can start putting stuff down. Yeah, I forgot about that. Like I said, I'm rough. Is there anything down here? It is. Oh, my lady, we were just, uh... Ignoring your duties. <laughs> playing cards, taking a break. Y'all are playing cards, I see. Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the town stationed us here. Um, don't worry about it, man. I won't say anything. Do you always question your duties? Okay, she's not that uptight. Um, did my father fear someone would steal something? I think she would probably question why they're here because this is abnormal for someone, uh, guards to, you know, be sitting here, um, during, you know, during the day like this. So I, I think she would probably question that. I don't know. Nobody has come to look at the treasury. Okay, so who has the key to the treasury? Then perhaps you'd better get back to work. I'll forget about this time. Continue your game, pretend... Okay, yeah. Continue your game, pretend I never came My by. My lady is very kind to show us such lenience. I mean, come on, everybody needs a break, isn't it? Can I go in? Uh, guard. I don't think I'm... Yeah, that's the key. Okay, so we're gonna head on up. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Are you looking for me? Hello to you, too, Sir Gilmore. Good thing, too, considering Father's company. Um, uh, hello to you, too, Sir Gilmore. <laughs> Pardon my abruptness, my lady. It's simply that I've been looking everywhere for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Okay, um, did the dog get into the larder again? She was my nanny before she was a cook. Nan won't leave. Um, Nan was just blowing off steam. She'll always been like that. Why look for me? Do something. Uh, did the dog get into the larder again? No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. You know these Mabari hounds. He'll listen to his mistress, but anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Stupid dog. He never behaves. He knows better than to hurt anyone. I'm busy at the moment. Then I guess you should, should probably go collect him. That would be wise. Before Nan tears down the walls. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Sure. Uh, to the kitchen, then. I need to talk to my brother first. I don't need you to follow me around. Where is my mother exactly? Yeah, let's ask where our mother is. She was entertaining Lady Landra and her son when I left her. Perhaps in the atrium? Uh, before we go, my lady, might I beg a question? I've heard from several people that a Grey Warden is here. Is that true? Uh, yes it is. His name is Duncan. I met him. You sound quite excited. Uh, he kind of does. Ord more like. The reputation of the Grey Wardens as mythical warriors is unsurpassed. It is true. Uh, he's talking to my father right now. His name is Duncan. I met him. Don't let it concern you, sir. Okay, she was. That would be rude. Um. Let's see. It's true. He's talking to my father right now. Then, is it also true that this Grey Warden was asking after me? He intends to test you for recruitment. I'm not certain. Maybe I really don't have time to gossip, Sir Gilmore. Okay, that's just outright rude. I don't think she's completely rude. Um, I would say that she would know for sure. Sorry about that, car driving by. Maybe. Have mercy. Is he asking after me or not? I don't know. Just joking. Yes, he wants to meet me. Oh, wait a minute. Did he? I don't remember. Um, just joking. Yes, he wants to test you. Fine. Yes, he thinks you might be recruit material. I really... Okay. Uh, just joking. Yes, he wants to test Make you. Make us breath. 
Are you certain? Can you imagine me, a grey warden? It will be everything I've dreamed of. Of course, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Pardon my outburst. He's got chipmunk cheeks. Let's go into the door over here. Um, you know what? Before I even continue on, I feel like the voice is a little loud. Yeah. Okay. Felt like it was just a little loud. Okay. Um, what's in here before I even... Got it. Okay. I think... I don't think there's anything else in here. I think it was just that book. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk to these peeps over here. After we, um... Knows about... I'll get on it. I think that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to Good librarian. Evening, Good evening. Hello. All right, the kids. Are you marching off to war too? I wish I, I were. I was old enough to fight. No, you don't. But you're cute. You're cuties. Hello, my dear girl. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. It's all right. It's boring. It's still the same taskmaster, I see. They do. They could do with some discipline. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's all right. It's boring. It really is. Um, she's sarcastic, so still the same taskmaster, I see. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Mm hmm? No, thank you. I must attend to an important task. Certainly, I'd be happy to. I'm quite familiar with the subject matter. I'm a bit too old for lessons, I think. Um, let's see. I'm quite familiar with the subject matter. Yeah, I mean, Perhaps it is my family. you could make the topic more palatable for these lads uh, and their minuscule intellects. Ah, uh, very well. Wonderful. The Coosland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Come to think of it, I have things to do. When uh, when was our line founded? We predate the founding of the kingdom, yes? To tell, uh, tell about our relationship with... Yes, actually, tell about our relationship with Arl Howe. The history between the Kooslands and the Howes reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. Uh, go on. When did Orle occupy Hyever? Spare me the war stories, please. Uh, when did Orle occupy Hyever? During your grandfather's rule. Of course, Orle found it difficult to hold these lands. During the rebellion against Orle, several battles were fought near Hyever. The port village of Harper's Ford was the Turnier's center. Its Arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but how sided with Orle? Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. Uh, but my father and Al Arl Howe are old friends. We fought the house, uh, as was our right. The house are our vassals. Uh, unfortunate, but we couldn't lose Harper's Ford. I'll say unfortunate, but we couldn't lose Harper's Ford. Correct. That caused a rift between the two families, as you might imagine. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. Um, alright, so I am going to actually end the conversation because this um, episode has gotten fairly long in the tooth because what is it yeah i've been recording for uh, almost an hour so let's go ahead and end the lesson time to end the lesson i think uh, thank you for indulging an old man anytime uh, does that mean we have to listen to you now silence i will not have you two becoming smart mouthed hooligans but perhaps you should go i doubt they need any more distraction 
I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. <laughs> to myself for all this one. All right. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end the recording here. Um, Thank you guys for joining me with for this first episode of Dragon Age Origins. Of course, if you've made it this far, don't be shy. Smash the subscribe button and that bell in the corner there so you don't miss out on any uploads um, that I make. <laughs> if you'd like to see me and any more content, um, just let me know by hitting a like and commenting down below. I love you. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye.